Okay, so now we're talking about mail settings. Um, when you first um, log into your Google Mail, um, there's some settings that you're going to want to automatically adjust, and we're going to take a look at advanced settings that are called labs. So, um, in your mailbox, on the right-hand side, to get to your settings, you click on the gear and choose settings. The general settings that you see here, um, let's go down the page and just make some changes. Now, on maximum page size, you have the option to show up to 100 conversations per page, which is what I recommend you set your um, page settings at. Keyboard shortcuts, they are by default off, so I would select to turn them on. The other thing, um, it's up to you but conversation view, as you learned in the other tutorials, allow emails that are part of the same conversation to stick together, like glue, which is really handy because if you have a conversation and people are talking on the same subject and the subject stays the same, all the replies back and forth stay grouped together. Um, so it's very easy to keep, uh, keep updated on the conversation. We're not going to talk about stars right now, but you certainly can take a look at them. They're pretty self-explanatory. And the other thing I would um, mention here is you, your opportunity to select a picture and upload it. So you can select a picture uh, from a web address, a Picasso web album, or just browse to your computer to find a picture that you would like to upload. And I'm going to look for a generic image. So if I go to desktop, let's go to pictures here, sorry. And let's say I wanted, um, let's grab sample pictures. And I want my icon to be um, the hydrangea. Now, you don't have to put a picture of yourself. You could have pick, put a picture of something that you enjoy. Um, I have a, a professional associate that loves to run, sail, and ski. So at different points during the year, she has an icon that she's created of a character running or skiing or boating. So it's kind of fun because you can have an avatar or you can have an image that reflects your interests or you can have a picture of yourself. So once you choose that image and you get things centered, you just apply changes and now you have an image and I would say visible to everyone. And then um, you want to show the people widget, keep that up and running so that when we teach you about that later, it's there. And um, I leave the autocomplete for contacts there. You can create a signature by putting the signature in here. So um, Lebanon Administrator, let's say, is my name. Um, you could put the address, you could put your Twitter, you can put your Skype, whatever you want to put. Okay. So then you have your signature. I'm take that out so it doesn't end up there. Um, and finally, I want to bring your attention to the vacation responder. You can have something, if you're going to be out of your office, you can put in, I am out of the office today. You can put in something more elaborate. You can set when you want this to go off. So let's say you're leaving on Friday, but you want it to start on Monday, and you want it to end on the following Friday. So you can you can actually select the end date so that you don't forget to turn the vacation responder off. And you can also choose whether or not you want to send it to your contacts or only the people in your domain. Once you're finished with that, just click on Save Changes. Now those are your general or basic mail setting changes that are suggested as part of this introductory course and there will be a separate video tutorial to show you how to enable a variety of labs to make your Gmail more productive.